finally finally guys i made it to nairobi safely hey welcome welcome to nairobi city welcome to nairobi kenya i made it safely to nairobi and uh today is my first time to have these feelings this is the bed that i will be sleeping for the time that we'll be staying in Nairobi, I just like the wood and the wood and flow. Tomorrow in the morning, I'll be waking up and seeing the TV, city, city from down when I wake up. Guys, thank you so much for the great support and the great prayers that you guys had for me. Man, the, li the bedroom itself is bigger than most living room including mine but that's not a big deal that's not what brought me here thank you so much courtesy of uh, pastor steven man i'm going to have a rest here tonight guys right now as you can see it is uh, 4 12 4th april 4 12 a.m we're finally here. Everything is good. Everything is... Hmm. Man. Oh, yeah. The reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want to interfere with the bed before... You know? And this particular place is so big. I just want to give you a tour first. Then we're going to talk, guys. Wow. Good morning, my beautiful people. Woo. Man. You remember yesterday I was here, uh, that, not yesterday, but uh, it was today, but it was in the morning. And uh, there was too much dark, you remember? Oh, I want to remove the shear. You remember yesterday we couldn't manage to see Nairobi from this end. There is a pool, but it's in the, on the other hotel. Wow, wow, guys, we are in Yaya, Yaya uh, Center in Nairobi, Kenya, which is where we got the house as well, my friend. Uh, Pastor Steven uh, picked a beautiful house. You, got, you can just see on top of the bed. This is a particular place that I slept. Man, I tell you. I was keeping my clothes over there. So welcome. It is another morning, another day. But we are finding ourselves in Nairobi. Oh man, I need to put some shirt. But uh, I just want to show you the washroom. You remember I left from here yesterday. So... On this side, this house is a three-bedroom house. I'm going to be giving it to two different uh, bedrooms. This is where I'm staying. And uh, this is the washroom. And I was just making jokes. The washroom is bigger, bigger, bigger than, you know, bigger than. So, uh, this is good because it is a standard one. Whereby you get to wash your hands here, wash your face. I'm, not, I'm just going to start by washing my face. Let me put my camera right this spot. Let me put it in a hole like that. <sighs> Something that I forgot, I forgot my toothbrush and I'm not going to brush it. I'll be brushing my tooth uh, once I bought the gadgets. That is toothbrush and toothpaste, you know. Like I told you, it caught me unaware. Oh, my phone is almost falling down. But finally, I'm here. Somebody's calling me. Let me get to hear it. Who the person is. Yes, hello, boss. Wow. I've really done that, man. Enjoy, enjoying city life. I was washing my face here. There is a toilet seat that is seen beautiful here. Wow, I just need to flush it because I did something. Just like that. So that it will clean. Wow. Then if you've done your stuff, you have got a toilet brush. You brush it over there. Wow, then over here, you see, there is a door. So you take a sleepers here. You don't need to come with the slippers. Then you can take shower here. As you are taking shower, you can just close it. Yeah, you can just close it. You use this one. 
the solar goes here. So you take a shower, and as you can see, they are in shop. I think these are imperial leather, classic bath shop. They are here. Wow, guys, it is fantastic. Then, uh, as you live in here, you remember? Then we have got the main door. Then we have got uh, this is the one that is acting like master bedroom. So we have got this. This is another bedroom. You want to see how it looks? It is looking so beautiful. But uh, meanwhile, let me put on a shirt, guys. Yeah, let me put on a shirt. Put on this one too. Uh, this one I want to hang because I just want to put on clothes that I travel with. Or take a jewel on vacation, man. Just to relax a little bit. Then I put on the one that I came with. Yeah, because I've not taken shower. So that I give you exclusive, exclusive tour of this apartment, of this property. Wow, maybe today I might walk without a jacket. You wanna relax? Because today, no motorcycle. And also, by the way, we have got a mirror here. You can come and look at yourself. If maybe there is something that you haven't done, you do. Wow, so we are here, we are getting here. This is another bedroom, you can see, it is looking so fantastic, uh, very good, wow, this one hasn't been touched, so beautiful, beautiful, wow, I think this is a five-seater, no, oh, yeah, five, a five by six bed, as you can see, we have got a place where you can be putting your stuff, antenna for the tv maybe if you have got your tv here yeah or oh, the same picture that is on the other side is the one that is here a cool one wow guys you can see then also on here we have got a big window where you just remove a shear this is a shear guys you know nowadays i know things it is a shear like that oh man it is looking so beautiful we have got a driving school over there somebody's learning to drive a vehicle wow so you are going to get to learn more about this particular place as the day goes. Long, long time ago, it was just us passing here doing the construction, but we never knew that one day, one time we could come here. Well, so if you come from the bed, you, 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 you step on this one. You don't come direct from the bed and you step down. It might be cold, but the good thing is this is wooden floor. So you know, wooden woods are not so cold. Wow, so you have got a place to hang your clothes, a mirror to look yourself, and also places to keep your stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're living as if you're living in the village. Wow, so my friend, can I, can I give a tour to your room? Yeah, just don't, uh, just don't my stuff. Oh, no problem. Oh, okay. Guys, I've been access, given access to give you a video tour of the master bedroom. I'm just finalizing with the bedroom. Wow, so first of all, before I go there, I want to show you a bathtub. As you can see, wow, this one is good. As you can see, it is really, 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 really good. Wow. I tell you, so this is the bathtub where you just take shower as you sleep, you know, and also on this side, as you can see, uh, you have got, uh, you can take shower, it is looking so beautiful and so nice, I tell you, everything is fantastic, everything is good, and uh, we like how things are moving along, uh, wow, oh, this one is good because you can close it like that as you take shower, so this is master. And as you take shower, somebody who is outside can have a look at you. Yeah. I know because we are sharing this, I'll have to take a shower here for the first time. 
I haven't taken a shower, a shower there. Wow. So we'll leave that. You can see it is looking so beautiful. So when I stand from here, guys, wow, it is a nice bed, I tell you. And uh, if I stand from here, it is also a nice window. There is a beautiful window. I don't want to talk too much on this room because it's a private room. You can come outside from a balcony, as you can see, and you walk. It's only that the rainwater may be dropped here, so I don't want to be stepping on it. Wow, as you see the nature, you see everything around here. Wow, this place is stunning. It is looking so beautiful. First impression, I just love it. People are enjoying, really, really enjoying life. You can see on the other side, I think that is also another hotel room. It is also tall and beautiful. On in, inside, the be, inside the bedroom, you have got an iron. You can iron your clothes before you leave, yeah, before you start your day. Then also here, mm, okay, here you cannot come out, yeah, because you might fall. It is not that big. So that is how it is looking. I was almost forgetting about the wardrobe. Oh man, it is so big. This one, it is really, really a master bedroom. It is so big. Wow. Oh man. It is very, 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 very big. I tell you guys, it is very, 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 very fantastic. Wow. You hang your clothes right here. I tell you. So that is all about the master bedroom itself now. Uh, on the other side we have got the kitchen, we have got uh, living room, which I am also going to be showing you. So keep on watching the video, please subscribe, comment. I'm just showing you where I am residing. From the village to a big city, courtesy of Pastor Steven, just to enjoy some vacation. It is going to be from today to Monday. He saw it was wise if we have some rest in Nairobi town before we go back to the village to continue with the work. So the bedroom, the washroom, and everything is done. Now let's go to the living, living room. Guys, here we call it sitting room, but I know right now I should be calling it a living room. On the living room, oh man, we have got beautiful coaches here, beautiful coaches beautiful coaches where you can come and say i have to take a seat man Whew. just relax doing nothing take a journey doing it big yeah so we have got it is a five seater i don't know a six seater a six yes this is one that is two this is three that is six on the table you have got a tv remote whereby you can just take it and switch on the tv you just take a remote i don't know whether i switched it on is it for tv yeah i think this is yeah, yeah. it is coming on now so you watch your tv yeah you can see we have got super wardrobe uh, super tv stand yeah this is a smart tv how i wish the internet connectivity would have been okay yeah, so you can see the TV is working very well. And uh, we are watching KBC Channel 1 in Kenya. This is the internet. They have got internet connectivity called Zuku. This is DSTV. And uh, I don't know what this is. It has got a name. Wow. Then uh, that being for the living room. That is the living room here. Then on top of the table you can see we have got a dining room a dining table whereby you get to eat your stuff you get to eat the stuff i tell you guys and they made it in a good way that uh, everything is good in a good way that everything is good whereby you serve from the kitchen direct you come and eat here oh man before i forget that look at the wall we have got a nice looking picture this one it it, I don't know, it should just be taken to a museum. If you come closer, it is something useless. But if you're from far, you see it has got a rainbow, 
it has got different colors but calming another good thing is uh if you want to make any call you just dial and uh just talk yeah i think you just tap it going down or do you click it click it once then you just talk if you want to make a call if you want lock whatsoever you just make a call yeah co co com then that being said for the living room tour uh it is looking so beautiful and big wow these are my shoes i came with them over here and uh now let's get to the kitchen guys oh why am i vlogging without lights on wow oh even this one i was supposed to be vlogging while the lights are on but it is looking so nice though it is not bad but let me try to see how it's going to look with the with the lights on well yeah now the lights are on you can see that is how it is looking when the lights are on wow uh-huh then on this side we have got a kitchen and then the kitchen i think this is a particular place where you put the food countertops you cook over there you put the food we have got a water dispenser for storing the water amco one of the best companies in kenya yeah so you just get your water here drinking water uh for the visitors who came but in case maybe you don't trust them uh, you can use your own uh water and put it here then uh, i think uh, we have got oh a place to wash the clothes if you want to wash your clothes this is it yeah this is a place where you wash your clothes you hang them they dry you know yeah the sheets you just hang them here even you yourself if you want to wash your clothes you just keep them here wow the laundry that is the laundry base yeah that is a washing machine we have got a place where you put the dust dirt. then here as you can see we have got a beautiful kitchen a beautiful beautiful kitchen wow look this is a kitchen rack we have got uh, glasses okay these are for the house you don't come with them we have got okay there there is you can put your you can store your food stuff okay this one is good because as it goes it has got a thing that is holding it so it doesn't come to interfere with your hands so then you just lock it like this wow very nice property then the same oh it has got a beautiful bowls man i tell you thank you so nice man yeah you can crush your fruits here limp you see power power is here 24 7 because it is an aerobic if you want to make your tea you can make a tea here wow then we have got a gas i don't know how it's working but i guess i'm just going to be shown how it is working then we have got this okay this is a cooker cooker then we have got a von this is for some some where you can put your chicken and it is circulating like this it goes around a naked chicken then uh, maybe if you want to boil some water you just uh, boil it here you know yeah then you switch on the, the the power we have got a fridge where pastor steven uh try to store some food oh the good thing with the fridge you see there is no light on so once you open it it sends and the lights comes on yeah so we were trying to eat these ones i was eating this one guys but uh, it is so sweet that i couldn't manage to uh, complete it i enjoyed this he came with this one you know uh from yesterday when we came from mama maria i did not eat something until we reach to nairobi so he gave me this one this one is good it is good because it got all the nutrients and i'm feeling strong even right now and i've not eaten anything so the food itself in it it is okay so here you can store your stuff maybe things that can go bad easily so everything is good if we forget about that this is the main entrance the door uh, to get you to the stairs and uh, okay also here you can peep and look somebody yeah with one eye like this i don't know if maybe the camera can bring it yeah you see yeah like that you check who is outside there you know yeah just like that 
So security top notch. Then as you get in and maybe you are just a local visitor, you are not a privilege to get a room inside here. Uh, what you need to do is uh, you are also covered. You get inside here and do your stuff. You know there are some visitors that they, they are not allowed to go to the bedroom. So you have got your washroom here. So this house, it has got uh, uh, three washrooms. Uh, three. The one at the living room, living room washroom. Wow. People living a dream life. People living a dream life. And for sure, for sure, one day, one time, I live a dream life. I live a dream life. If God bless me in one way or the other, I live a dream life. A dream life. Because nobody is a, 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 was put in this life to suffer. Nobody. Uh, so that is that. Uh, from outside, I don't know whether we lock the door, but uh, the security is so tight. Wow, so this is how the outside looks. Yeah, if you want to go to, you can use stairs, you can go down using this one, uh, using the lift, you know. Yeah, but me have been using the lift because, guys, it is not that I haven't been into Nairobi. I have been into Nairobi doing the construction. So those are the times when we were uh, having the privilege to use the lift. So from also from here, you can see everything is good. So as you can see over there, I've got a friend. I think uh, maybe he's still in the phone call. So let me wait for him to finish. Then I'll be coming. Wow. So finally, guys, uh, it is a privilege that I show you the last part of this building. And uh, me showing you the last part of the building, I also have a friend who is sitting and enjoying the view of Africa. Kenya. No, it looks like it's in New York skyline. Oh, the way, oh, the way the building is, is taking shape. Hey, I know, man, there's, there's a there's a crane everywhere, man. This building is going up like crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. And uh, they are not uh, Kenyans who are uh, doing this. Of course not. The Chinese. Yeah, the investors from outside. Maybe somebody like you. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you, buddy? I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, eh? oh, man. <laughs> hey! Yeah, so, guys, uh, Junior. meet my friend over here, Pastor hey. Steven himself. Hey, guys, how you doing, man? I am back. To Africa. To Africa. Kenya, specifically. Yeah. We're hanging out in Nairobi today for the next couple of days. And uh, then we're going to go do some village life. How's that? Yeah. Yeah. So just chilling. Um, just came in here last night. Yeah. And uh, trying to balance out. <laughs> uh, get to be connected with the environment. Yeah, the clock. Trying yeah. to balance the clock. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, because right now you should supposed to be sleeping. Uh, yeah, you should be sleeping right now. <laughs> but now you are awake. But now I'm awake and hungry. <laughs> awake and hungry. <laughs> Otega is not feeding me, people. Otega is going to feed you so Otega well. Otega is not feeding me, okay? <laughs> I am hungry. I am in Kenya on my first day. And I'm hungry. Uh, you are going to be full. Okay. Right away. Because right. we have got good restaurants around this particular yes, sir. place. Yes, so sir. Yes, we're going to enjoy. Yes, sir. Yeah. But I want to say hello to all your uh, all your wonderful subscribers, as you would say. Yeah. Good morning, wonderful subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're wonderful. Yeah, they're wonderful subscribers. Yeah. You know, all the support they give you and all you've been able to accomplish uh, with their help. It's marvelous. Yeah, man. It's marvelous. So, uh, proud of your work, and um, it's Thank good you. to be back. Yeah, and I love supporting you. And uh, you know, I know that when you get support, man. Yeah. You do what you say you do. Yeah, exactly. Unlike a lot of people, unlike a lot of places, unlike a, a lot of people of color, and a lot of stuff that. Uh, people of color in Africa has this weird bad name and like everybody's supposed to be bad and, and there are some of those but you do what you say you do and that's 
Exactly. That's uh, that's that's a rare find when you find somebody you can put money in their hand and trust them with it. You know. Yeah. And uh, so I'm I'm glad to be a, an avid supporter of what you do. Yeah. Thank you. And um, and I'm glad to be in Kenya. I have a I have a couple of reasons why I'm here. Uh, one, I'm coming to visit old friends, but uh, I'm doing a event here in Nairobi called the Encounter. Yeah. And that's going to be at Liberty Auditorium. For those of you who may be watching this from Nairobi and its environs, Liberty Auditorium, um, Saturday at 1 p.m. And then again, I'll be at um, uh, I'll be doing a church service yeah. on um, the Sunday morning as well. So I have two of those, and then I'm doing a crusade uh, that's going to be um, uh, in another town that's close to the Tanzania border. I'm mm. going to be there doing uh, three days of crusade. Uh, pastors conference yeah uh, so I have a busy schedule while I'm here we're gonna see as much of that we can see also um, maybe we can shoot that video I want to shoot the music video for my new song um, that is just out it's on YouTube right now I'm not even sure if it's on Spotify and some of those but it's on YouTube you can check it out it's called um, thank God for mercy yeah. yeah. Thank God for mercy. I'm living proof of what the mercy of God can do. <laughs> if you knew me then, you believe me now. You turned my whole life upside down. You took my old and made me new. That's what the mercy of God can do. Yeah. Check it out on YouTube. And I, 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 the, the, the first time I was watching the fo the song, yeah, I thought it is dedicated to me. <laughs> I know, right? God is good to all of us, man. Amen. I tell God you, God is good to all of us. Yeah, because so. uh, if you listen to the song, it was just speaking uh, to a story where yeah. God can do miracles. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Within within yes. times, you know. Yes, and um, I represent my culture. I, I represent my culture, you know. I'm, I'm proud Jamaican. Jamaican, no. Oh. I'm a I'm a proud Jamaican. You know, in Jamaica we have a we have a couple of songs that we're known for in Jamaica, right? Right. There, there's actually three. Okay, so there, there's um, Harry Belafonte has a song called um, Jamaica Farewell, and he says, "This is my island in the sun." Where my people has toiled since time begun Though I may sail to many seas This island will always be home for me Oh, island in the sun uh, You know, um, and then we have some other songs uh, that we, uh, That's known, uh, popular among Jamaican It says, uh, two of them But one said, I'm a born Jamaican I'm a son of the soil I love this sea, I love this sun, Lord, I love this land. Don't matter where I go, Jamaica is my home. This next part is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying. I love the girls, coconut water and white rum. Now, I don't love, I don't love the coconut. I love the coconut water, but not the white rum. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, it is part of coconut. No, well, the coconut the, in Jamaica, the, the, the guy is sometimes will drink uh, uh, the overproof rum. Yeah, yeah. And they would uh, add coconut water. Oh. So they say, I love the girls, I love the coconut water and the white rum. <laughs> <laughs> so Jamaicans love three things. <laughs> <laughs> we love a lot of things, but don't, that's what that song. The major, says. The, the song says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any, any any Jamaican watching the Wait, video. Jamaica, where were Jamaicans at? Represent. <laughs> <laughs> they need to tell us in the comment section if they only love the three things that uh, pastors just say. No, we love a lot of other things, man. Yeah, man, um, but that is just what the song is. This song says saying. that. Oh yes. wow. 
Yeah. yeah, man. Welcome once again. Well, it's good to be in Kenya. And feel free. You know, to... Kenya feels like home to me. Yeah. Right here. It's, it's very much like home. Yeah. Uh, I just don't know my Swahili. You know? If I give my Swahili, and if you, if you guys can learn the Jamaica, then we can talk, you know? Oh yeah. Hey man, we can chat. We can ja worries, you see. Jamaican is an in in English. Because I was uh yeah, we talk English but we talk Jamaican too, you know, for full sense. Oh Jamaica so has got its language. We have a we call it patois. Pat oh patois. Yeah. Oh, patois. I think you are the one who told me that patois. Yeah. Mm. So it's like, it's, like a, it's it's like broken English. So broken when English. You have to kind of it, adjust your ears. If you want to say hello in, in patois. We say Wagwan. What? Oh, Wagwan. Wagwan, my people. Wagwan. The, the thing I just arrived in Kenya, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Wagwan. Give eh? oh. up yourself. You see. Oh, so that is a hello. Wagwan, yeah, Wagwan. You know. <laughs> Yo, Tenga, Wagwan. Wagwan, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you guys speak uh, some nice English, you know. Yeah. And if you go to get to, by the way, guys, uh, around this particular place, we have got a get around down here called Kibra. Maybe if we get time, I'll be touring Pasa Seven around that place. So, guys, we'll get to revisit Kibira again. So, Kibira, they love Jamaicans a lot because of the musicians that are coming. Yeah, like, man. we have got Consens. Vibes Cartel, Vibes all, Cartel yeah. yeah, all the musicians that are coming. Looks like he's gonna get out of jail soon. He's going to get out of jail. It looks like it. Oh man. Yeah. He's, he's going to fire everything so that he come back. Yeah. I mean, I know these guys, but I don't listen to them. I'm too old for that stuff. I don't really follow that. But that you young follow them. Crowd. Yeah, of course I know them. Yeah, you have to know your people. Yeah. Yeah. At least you, you are uh, at least enlightened about I your stay, culture. Yes, I stay. Yes, I stay. I stay grounded. Yeah, oh, man. you know there are some people if they go to state like you are right now, they yeah. forget about the culture. Now they want to no, behave like, no, no, you know, no. hmm? strictly Jamaican region. Oh wow. Yeah man. Yeah man. Strictly Jamaican region. Yeah my friend. Welcome. Yeah. And welcome and feel, Thank feel you. most welcome here. Yes sir. Yeah, we are home and. Uh, uh, I, I was supposed. You were supposed to tell tell me thank you for the good treatment. But now I'm telling you, thank you so much for the good treatment yeah. that you gave me in Nairobi. I think this is the first good treatment that I ever had since I was born. You should have brought your wife. You could have enjoyed. Of course, she had the baby. Yeah, yeah she had and the somebody, baby. And somebody's uh, got to hold on the village by you know. Yeah, the and chickens got to eat. The chicken got to eat. But uh, next time. Next time. Yeah, because we are planning a vacation with her. So yeah, yeah. it will be coming. And I did not know it was going to be this big, big house like this. I thought we were just going to have a small room. Man, you guys said, uh, I want to enjoy. Well, I know you were coming, man. I know. Yeah. I wasn't going to share. I didn't want to share room or bed with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> So I got enough. I got enough space. I got enough space for you and me. Yeah. And then if you had a driver, we had another room. Yeah, yeah, for them, yeah. Yeah, but um, but it was um, it was doable. It was yeah. Just, mm. Yeah. That is good, man. Yeah. yeah. And I like the neighborhood, man. I wanted to get something that is like right near downtown, so we can just walk and check out the town. Because you know, last time I was here. I didn't spend any time in Nairobi. Oh. I was in uh, Kisi, Kisi, Kisi Town. Kisi Town, yeah. Kisumu. Even Kisumu, you did not spend any time. Even because Kisumu, no. You landed and you got picked. But today, these couple days that you are in Nairobi, you're going to enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to see, I take you to I'm going to see a little bit of Nairobi, man. Yeah. A little bit so, of city life, yeah. It is going to be good. So maybe if you want to send love to the people that you left back home, to Jamaica. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how many people will come across this Sotenga, but yeah, I want to shout out all the folks from Jamaica and especially the folks from the, we call it the food, food basket of the island where I'm from. Oh. Big up to all the St. Elizabeth people, right? All the St. Elizabeth crew, Treasure Beach, big up yourself. Yeah, and, um, and of course to all the family back home. Uh, in the United States, man. you know, wherever wherever our people are, man, big up yourself. You know. Yeah. Wow. Well, 
with Jamaica here, there, and abroad, everywhere we go. Yeah, yeah, man. And people love, uh, what I realize, uh, Kenyans love the vibes from Jamaica. I know, right? Right. Yeah. I see that a lot on the internet. Like, Kenyans are cool with Jamaica. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because... You know, last night I came on a flight with the Kenyan team. Oh, yeah. they are coming from... Yeah, they were coming from some sporting event uh, international. We, we oh. got on the same flight in Doha. Oh, uh, it was a lot of sports kind of team. Oh, kind of team. Oh man, yeah. It is good, guys. I know we can't get enough of this. Uh, we'll be catching yeah. up bit by bit. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, uh, so that we can. We'll yeah. see you. Yeah, we'll be seeing you in town as we take some time. And also don't forget to watch the event that Pastor Steven will be holding yes. uh, Saturday, as he just said, at 1 p.m. Uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, God's blessings to be upon you. Uh, to our team who are supporting us in the community. Yeah, you guys have requested for me to at least have a rest. And of course, it came. There. I couldn't so, wake him up this morning. Yeah, I slept. I should be sleeping. And he was still in bed. I was like, it's daytime now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I slept good and I, I should just, be sleeping. Yeah. Oh you you should sleep. I should be sleeping, but you know the, the light came through the windows yeah. and the people start working and I said, Oh my god. No, yeah, it is morning now. It's ready to I'm ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we are going to have a good rest and guys thank you. Uh, for the advices and uh, can support and God continue blessings you blessing you uh, abundantly every day everywhere you go and I uh, will really really appreciate if we get good news from you yeah maybe somebody wants something to happen in their life and we get good news like it did happen you know yeah then we say God God did it to them so thank you once again for me Otenga June you guys will be catching up with me as the days goes and before I forget this, guys, I want to say this in front of Pastor Steven. Uh, you guys have realized that the camera that I've been using, uh, it has been shaking. By the way, it is a phone. Today I'm going to reveal it. I did not do a review for my camera. Yeah, it is a Galaxy S10. It, was an, it is a nice, nice phone that I've been using. It is the one that I'm using even right now. And this one is a gift that was brought to me by this gentleman that is seeing here. And it has really, really helped me a lot okay. out. And uh, thank you once again. And uh, continue uh, being of uh, this help. Because through this camera, a lot of people have been seen. And a lot of people have been uh, supported. You know, guys, uh, this camera, one good thing with it, it... Uh, uh, do away with the uh, too much sun you know so it just focus on the stra uh, like images not uh, bringing uh, white white arrays of the sun so it has uh, been good because people have been liking the videos and saying man your videos are good and uh, we like to see the clear pictures yeah so thank you man and god bless you you're welcome man I love and you guess what around. guys you never know you never know what is going to come next i don't know but i'm just praying for the best because now my my friend from america is here is again here right here <laughs> so i don't know what's going to happen Let's wait for the best. Thank wait you so much, see. my brother. Let's wait and see. Uh, wait and see, yeah, and right. God bless you. Guys, yeah. last time when he came, we were making jokes. Like, uh, you know, <laughs> he was telling me, like, he's a black man, but you guys can judge. You uh, can judge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we, we just, we're different shades of black. No, you? Guys. No, <laughs> we're different shades of black. At least nowadays I'm not that much black because I'm putting on too much jacket. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much. We'll be catching up. I want to say one laugh and bye-bye.